Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and very good morning. So my name is Ahmad Faiz Nazmi bin Mazufaldi. My metric number is 72059. And today I'm going to use slides and eight for my presentation. So today I'm going to talk about gender inequality in terms of gender pay gaps. So what is the definition of gender pay gaps? So gender pay gap basically means that there raises an average difference between the wage for men and women who are working. And women are generally considered to be paid less than men. So also in this presentation, I've included a graph, a graph which shows gender pay gaps over time. And also this research suggested this from 2060s to 2020s. And also in this graph, there are two kinds of data which are being presented here, which is one is an uncontrolled and the second one is controlled. So you might ask yourself why this is very important, why they have to be two kinds of data. So what basically means is that the uncontrolled is actually the median salary for all men and women regardless of their job type and worker seniority. So some researchers suggest that this is a biased kind of data because there's uh, basically a lot more of women working out there. So more, uh, more men are working out there. So basically men are at a higher level hence they earn more. So because of that we have come up with a new it is uh, controlled data type. So, but in the control that in the control uh, pay gap, we are covering a woman who is doing the same job with the same exact qualification as men, but still they are being paid two percent less for no att attributable reason. So, in these cases, it clearly shown and proven that this uh, pay gap actually exists. For the next one, I would like to help you to visualize how much it is the uh, pay gap. So, for a year. For an uncontrolled, it is 11,900 and for control it's 1,000. So it is for a year. Can you imagine for 2 years, 5 years, 10 years or maybe 20 years, how much is the difference and how much it can actually affect a person's life. And clearly this woman, it has been affected here. So next I would like to talk about the causes and reasons of this. So one of the terms that I want all of you to know is one is the motherhood penalty. So studies have shown that an increasing share of the gender pay gap over time is due to childbearing. And in early and mid thirties, women tend to have a career and family crisis where they either have to choose family or works. And what makes basically make it worse is that some employers tend to not hire women that have children by using reason that having the child will disturb and make the woman less productive, especially in the higher level. So that's why women tend to work at lower level and part time so they can focus on their family. So next is before I move on to the next point, I would like to ask you what come to your mind first when I say nurses and engineers. Yes, some of you might say that nurses are female and engineers are male. So that is why it's called gender norms or what media portray ideas of gender specific roles of which gender spirit stereotype cyber and what makes it easier is male dominated industry tend to have higher wages the industry and occupation made up mostly of female workers in the example I gave before male nurses tend to have the same wages as female nurses while in the engineer Female engineers tend to uh, to get less than male engineers. So this is what kind of things that factor for the pay gaps. And also, and for the solution, I think one of the solution is called mentoring. So why mentoring is very important is some women tend to not know that they are being paid less. So one of the solution here is to share salary information. Especially for men and women who are in a family. So other than that is by dividing labor at home. So by dividing labor at home for the husband and the wife. So that woman can focus on their career more. So it will help. And one of the last thing and the biggest thing is that women tend to choose career that is less paid. So mentoring is very helpful in this condition. Before I end the presentation, I would like to talk about the outbreak of the novel coronavirus that is occurring. So it will surely impact the economic growth and what makes it worse 
is most of the women allocated at the lower of the economic level. So can you imagine what will happen especially to the single mothers out there? So we as a new generation, we must realize that the gender pay gap is the easiest and together we change and plan for a better future. That's all for me. Thank you.